Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. Today we're going to make an anklet. So I have actually just been making this chain over the last several weeks and I've been using scraps of wire whenever I would um, make something and I had some left over I just would add one of these um, four millimeter glass beads to it and just I kept attaching them together and I think I want to make an anklet out of this. I'm not really sure how many more beads I need on this. I do know that I want this to be nine inches. Typically a an anklet is about nine inches. Now if you have a larger ankle of course you would want it to be larger so you could add more beads. If you have a smaller ankle then same thing just use less beads. So I have I want this to be the center these shells and so I already have five beads over here and I got three so I'm going to add at least two more over here and then we'll see where we are. And I am using this ginormous one-step looper. I've got such tiny hands, it's really, really hard for me to use this. But I think it's a really cool contraption. Okay. I need to get to my round nose pliers. All right, I want to open this up, add it over here, and close it up. Now I see I have a little bit left over here, so I'm going to make a loop. I'm going to make sure to close it up. That's one thing, the one step looper does not close them all the way. And normally that's okay because you're going to have to open it up anyway to put it wherever you want to put it. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. So I have five on each side. Now we got to figure out how many more I need. So we're at five inches. So we need four more inches, and the cl clasp is about a half an inch. Okay, let's add one more bead on each side and see what happens. Got one on that side. Make sure my loops are closed. We do not want to lose any beads. Hmm, hopefully this isn't too short. You know what? I think that's going to be a little too short, so I'm just going I'm just going to do this one by hand. It may need to be trimmed just a little bit.
Oops. Made a mess out of that one, but you can fix that. <laughs> Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, was this side. All right, how long do we have this now? So we're at six inches. Let me keep adding to either side of this, and before I put the clasp on, I'll come back. So I've got everything put together here, and my thought process on this is that I would not use a jump ring, and I would just hang the lobster claw off of this, and then on this side, I would make a bigger loop, and then that way, you could just hook it like that. But, here's the problem. <laughs> when I measure, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight of these beads on each side. And when I go to measure this, we are like a smidgen away from nine inches. A smidgen away. It's too small to add another bead or two if you wanted it to be even. So, what we're going to do to lengthen it is we're going to use jump rings. So the first thing I'm going to do is use a jump ring on um, let's see if we can just maybe only need one jump ring. Open up the jump ring Put it at the end of the lobster and the bracelet. Oops. And then close it up and let's measure it. Hopefully that will give us our nine inches. Not quite, not quite. So we are going to have to use this jump ring. Let's see if that gives us our nine inches. And it's still not quite. So I would probably add another Another jump ring, let's see. And this way, it kind of gives us the ability, if somebody needed to make it smaller, they, they could tighten it around their ankle. Let's see if this makes it nine inches. And that is nine inches exactly. Oh, good. So we have our nine inch ankle bracelet. Now, when you put this on, I had somebody ask me how you go about making um, a, an anklet and where do you put the focal, whether it is a charm or uh, I have this instead of a charm. This is the focal. It's really pretty much the same thing as a bracelet. Like if this was a bracelet, typically you would want this to be at the top of your arm. And of course, it's going to spin around. That's what bracelets do. And that's the same thing with anklets. All an anklet is is a bracelet for your ankle. So when you put this on your ankle, this part, is going to be at the side, the outside of your foot, close to where that little bone sticks out. Um, maybe a little in front of it, like between your um, between your bait, your little baby toe and your little bone, the ankle bone that pokes out. But this is going to spin around, and sometimes it will be on the inside, sometimes it will be on the outside, and that's okay. 
So what I could have done instead of put these shell chips in the middle, I could have hung a, um, a charm. In fact, if I'd been thinking ahead, which I wasn't because I was just adding to this as I went. I didn't know what I was making. I would have put maybe two chips on either side and then hung this in the middle. That would have looked really nice. And maybe that's for a different day, another project. But one thing I do want to stress with anything that you do with the one-step looper, or if you don't use a one-step looper and you do these by hand, before you wear them, before you give them as a gift, before you sell them, you need to go back and inspect all these loops and make sure they are closed. Because if they're not all the way closed, you can risk them coming undone and then the wearer could lose their piece and you don't want that to happen. You worked hard on getting this um, nice and pretty for them and you don't want them to lose it. So that's our project for today. I want to thank you for joining me and y'all have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.